What's up everyone? Michael Ruddle, immigration attorney here with another video for you on how immigration affects everyone. It's finally happening. The US is lifting pandemic related travel restrictions starting in November. And in this video, we're gonna tell you all about the new rules. So stay tuned. As a reminder, you can always visit us online at ruddlelaw.com to subscribe to our weekly newsletter or schedule a consultation with an experienced immigration attorney today for only $49. It feels like we've been waiting for this day for years now. The Biden administration announced that they'll be lifting all pandemic related travel restrictions starting in the first week of November 2021. Although the exact date hasn't been announced yet, it's expected to be in the first week of November. The new strict protocols are intended to prevent the spread of COVID-19 from passengers flying internationally into the United States by requiring that adult foreign nationals traveling be fully vaccinated. This policy means that the government won't be restricting people from individual countries anymore like Brazil, India, or many parts of Europe. Specifically, the new rules mean that starting in early November, foreign nationals traveling to the U.S. will be required to be fully vaccinated and to show proof of vaccination before boarding an airplane. The current requirement for everyone to show proof of a negative test within three days of boarding will still remain in place even for fully vaccinated travelers. In addition to that, the CDC will continue to strongly recommend against air travel by Americans who are not fully vaccinated. However, unvaccinated travelers who return to the US will be required uh, prior to boarding a plane to provide proof of a negative COVID test within one day of their departure. Also, you'll have to provide proof that you've purchased a COVID test to be taken after arrival to the US and you will be subject to a contract contact tracing order that will require all airlines to collect information such as your phone number, your email address for every passenger coming to the US and to provide that information to CDC upon request in the event of an infection and they need to advise people of contact tracing. This is meant to follow up with travelers who have been exposed to COVID-19 uh, variants or other pathogens. It's important to note that these requirements will apply globally. On the bright side, this means you can finally go visit your loved ones without having to worry about quarantining for 14 days or anything else. There are limited exceptions such as children, COVID-19 uh, vaccine trial participants, and there's humanitarian exceptions for people who have, don't act, can't access a vaccination or something like that. But individuals who are exempted from the vaccine requirement for traveling might still be required to be vaccinated after arrival. So in other words, you might not need the vaccine to get on the plane, but you might need it after you arrive. If you have questions about how these policies might affect you, contact an immigration attorney right away. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm attorney Michael Ruddle. Keep climbing that mountain.